for help from a man whose wife is stuck inside their burning home. She never made it out. The neighbor says it took about a half an hour for first responders to get to the home in Driftwood last night. KXAN's Lauren Landman spoke to a close friend about how that community is stepping in to help. My house is burning. My, my wife is inside. It's, come on, Angel. I need help. The man beating on the other side of Angel Carrion's door was Dale Roberson, a good friend and his neighbor since the 70s. It's a good friend. Carrion went across the street and about a quarter mile down a dirt road, he saw the home completely engulfed in flames. I break the window and the fire is coming more. He says it was too hot to get very close. They had to wait for firefighters to come from surrounding communities which he says took about 30 minutes. By that time, he says the home was burned to the ground and Miss Roberson wasn't able to get out. They were a cute couple. They did everything together. The Robersons ran a newspaper company. It's a great loss. Paula Pooley was one of their reporters. She's covered stories like this for them in the past, and each time she got pictures of the scene... He said he would not submit them. He said, I can tell that story without the horrible photograph. And that speaks to his character. Somewhat fitting, as what's left of his home sits out of sight. People can put the picture in their head without showing it. Local nonprofits in Wimberley are now stepping up to help the family. We love the Robersons. The community loves the Robersons. And the community's going to help them. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Dozens of first responders from several agencies arrived at the scene last night, but the home is now a total loss. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but foul play is not suspected. The Wimberley fire chief says the home did have a fireplace, but could not say that's how the fire started. It's not clear whether smoke detectors were inside the home, but the National Fire Protection Agency recommends you actually keep two kinds in your house. There are ionization and photoelectric smoke detectors. Ionization work better for fast-moving fires. Photoelectric respond faster to smoldering fires that create a lot of smoke. The agency says for the best protection, use both types of alarms. And make sure you check the packaging to see what kind of detector you're buying.